Looks like we're on another gimbal review. The Feiyotech AK2000C. And we'll be reversing this review, getting straight to the footage and show you the stability of the actual gimbal, then talk about it and then after that going straight to the review. We tested it in some pretty hard walking and running, not paying attention so much on how we walk. And I can say that this gimbal gets pretty solid and actually almost perfect in the stabilization. The smoothness is so much improved from last generations and even not tweaking the motors in any way, just with the smoothness turned on. The shots actually looks really great. The running scene gets really close to non-existent weird jitters just my hard walking, fast closing in to some object seen with a tight 55mm lens on a gimbal executable without any problems. Ok, so let's conclude with this initial review. This is the best budget around $200 gimbal that you can get right now. It's smooth and it has a payload of 2.2 kilos. Ok, so let's go now straight to the actual design and what they have actually left over to get to the $200 price mark. They made it also a consumer product getting slightly next to the DJI Osmo Mobile that's actually just for smartphones and this is actually able to hold up pretty well my Sony A7S 3 with the Zeiss lenses. Pretty amazing. And note the Sony A7S 3 costs 21 times more than the actual gimbal and I didn't actually mention neither the lens or anything that you are attaching. So this kind of different approach on a review and actually open your eyes on what should you consider or not consider on this gimbal. There is no follow focus option and no actual focus rod or follow focus attachment on this plate. And there is no actual follow focus wheel. So you are ditching the follow focus ability for an actual autofocus mirrorless camera. If you are using this gimbal on a fantastic autofocus camera, just like my Sony A7S 3 with face track, tracking option and eye detection in video mode, you really don't need any follow focus if you use with native lenses. So no follow focus, no focus motors or no rods, it will get actually cheaper. Built-in battery for 12 hours of usage. Yes, the battery is built-in and not swappable, so they didn't have to design actually and port to dedicate the battery and to swap up the battery, it's actually inside and should be pretty much 12 hours ever needed in any production. If you don't mind, you can actually charge it via the USB-C port on the side and actually going on for a longer time if needed. Sliding horizontal tilt adjustment straight built in on this side. Less parts, moving parts, cheaper to manufacture. They actually kept all the necessary just like the locks on all three axes so you will get a really comfy usage and actual a really comfy carry when you are not using the gimbal. They left the big OLED screen with all the functions and actually the big upgraded Feute app that you can connect your smartphone with the gimbal and also connect straightly via Bluetooth your camera and control all the buttons just like this record without any cables mounted on. Yes, you will get all the cables included for Panasonic, Sony, Canon, Nikon and other stuff, but yes, you can actually control it via Bluetooth, so you don't have to actually use any controller cable if your camera is Bluetooth enabled. There is also a joystick just like in every other gimbal to control the pan tilt motion without any problems. All the standard functions on the LCD screen are actually standard to any other AK series lately released. FPV, pan tilt, lock modes, inception modes, motion time lapse modes, selfie or portrait mode. Payload settings with auto adaptations. Shooting mode with a smooth and action mode or customizable dead follow speed of the motors. Swiping to the left, control the values like white balance, exposure compensation, 
ISO of your camera when connected with dedicated cable or Bluetooth. Yes, Bluetooth without cable. In just a matter of pressing a record button, it will start recording connected through Bluetooth and control all the other parameters straight via Bluetooth. Sadly, I wasn't able to use my Sony a7S 3 but it should be updated in a future with a future update. There are also two additional one quarter screw mounts on each side so you can mount additional accessories just like a smaller screen or an actual microphone. What should I actually also mention? This is kind of a limit of this gimbal. If getting more weight on the front with a bigger lens you will have no more room in the far end because you will have to move your camera more back and you will hit the roll motor. So the actual kind of Zeiss 1635 with the Sony a7S3 will leave you kind of some little more space with some little things, a slightly bigger lens. Nothing more than that. But actually I am feeling that this can mount even a little more than 2.2 kilos because the motors are well designed and actually have a lot of power but well the actual small size and compact body gets you the limit of around 2.2 kilos for smaller mirrorless cameras just like this if you're not planning to connect your camera via bluetooth but actual cables know that the cables are kind of a little short and they might get a higher tension to your ports, so note of that thing. You will be stick to a kind of a ready system with not so much of expandability. No motors, full of focus to attach. Just a pure gimbal with amazing smart features built in and excellent stability. I would recommend this gimbal for everyone that is just starting out. Let's have a new generation mirrorless with lenses that are not so long for balancing and if they have a better or excellent autofocus built in. And this is actually the only gimbal that I got that actual tilt control can be controlled manually and it will hold the position wherever you put it. If you have just $200, this will be a great option for your mirrorless camera. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.